this is last evening. Like uh, Dharani has been telling us viewers, at about 9 p.m. last evening, the first train passed through the main line that was restored. It was a Rajdhani Express. We also have visuals of that train. We'll be putting them up on the screen also. Uh, Dharani, coming back to you, clearly the authorities, the railways wasted no time in restoring the track while the probe goes on and multiple agencies are also involved. The track was restored with alacrity, but uh, clearly the NIA suspects that uh, there is foul play involved. Take us through actually what uh, is the reason for this accident? What is the bolt in the interlocking system all about? Tell us about that as well. So yesterday, uh, NIA did two rounds of inspection in this particular spot. Yesterday in the morning, uh, in the presence of uh, uh, DSP, Deputy Superintendent of Police, a team of NIA officials had come and they did the first round of inspection. And in the evening yesterday, again, a second round of inspection was uh, uh, done by the NIA officials in the presence of the district's SP. So, so far, uh, the NIA has done two rounds of inspection. And uh, uh, the NIA, of course, uh, sources indicate us that the NIA is suspecting foul play in this matter because in the last six months, as we were uh, repeatedly telling, uh, three such incidents have taken place in, in multiple locations across the country and uh, the, NA, uh, the NA is thinking of a sabotage bid is what we are given to understand and uh, they are also uh, likely to register a case on this matter. So once a case is officially registered, uh, the investigation will speed up and once the case and you know uh, once the case is properly registered, uh, the NA officials, they would uh, visit the spot multiple times from then on to uh, hold proper investigations. But for the moment, what happened yesterday was a preliminary uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, investigation done by the NA officials to understand the crux of the you know matter you know what triggered the incident and everything of course the southern railways is also holding a detailed inquiry into this matter uh, you know a press release from the southern railways uh, 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 day before yesterday it said that uh, the mysore darbanga express uh, you know the team the, the uh, train crew of the mysore darbanga express on the day of the incident uh, they experienced a heavy jerk and uh, because of this heavy jerk uh, they had to uh, uh, you know uh, leave from their uh, supposed main line uh, and they entered uh, uh, you know, another uh, line uh, uh, in which uh, the uh, goods train was wow. uh, stationed. That is how this incident happened. That is how the collision happened. So now uh, uh, the inquiry is uh, uh, all about why this heavy jerk happened. What was the cause of this heavy jerk? Is there any foul play behind it or uh, uh, is it something really accidental? Wow. That is what both the Southern Railway and uh, the NA, they are looking at you know, individually. And of course, uh, uh, as I told, as far as the NA is right. concerned, they are expected to register. An so all eyes are on the NIA, really speaking because this is extremely concerning. The NIA seems to think that there is a pattern here and that there is also a modus operandi with regards to these interlocking systems. A lot of uh, politicians also asking questions and technical questions at that, Dharani. Well, we are uh, anticipating more breaking information coming in on this. So viewers, remain with us. We have more updates coming in on the other side. For the moment, I thank Dharani for joining us. We are cutting to a short break.